Hey guys, it's Renee. I got a haul for you today. I've never tried this kind of videos, but I love shopping. It's kind of a big part of me, so I just wanted to share this. First, I went to Nordstrom Rack and I get this really, really cute top. It's more of a, I guess, summer top, but I can still wear it on winter with layers and stuff like that. It goes from this pattern to this other one. Really bad to describe it in this. I've never done this before, like hauling. And it covers perfectly if you are using leggings like I do all the time. This is what the top looks like. This is the back of it. The bottom part I love, looks like this. The back part of it is a bit longer. It's comfy and it's kind of like timeless, I think. And this is the brand of this top. Then from this brand, I wanted to give the sandals a try. This is what they look like. It's more of a shorter heel because I'm not much of a heel person, although I love how heels look. This has like two straps. It's more of a summer shoe. I've used them a couple of times with the top actually, and they are super, super comfy. And if you have like skinnier legs like I do, these straps are going to make them look a bit, you know, less skinny. Then I went to Marshalls, in there I got this scarf. This thing is huge, I can cover myself pretty much with it. And you can use it like this, it's not like too thick, it's not gonna be like too hot if you wear this like this. So for those nights that is getting chillier, you can, you know, wear this kind of thing. And this is what it looks like an actual scarf. As you can see, I'm not really good at, you know, placing my scarves. There's a lot of YouTube videos that show you how to make a scarf look like you and yourself. It reminds me so much of the, like the Burberry bottle, like the design and stuff. So I feel so kind of like classy when I wear this thing. And then I get this bag. This is a perfect size for me for a bag. I don't carry around a lot of things, I just, you know, my wallet, my cell phone, gums and a few other items. It's got a lot of pockets all around it and I love it. So the size is perfect for me and I love the color. And it was only like $9.99 and I love Marshalls for that because you can find a lot of cool stuff, really affordable. Then I went to Forever 21 because I wanted something as a pajama that I could wear to uh, work out as well, like doubling. And I found this top and I kind of like the colors a lot and that's the only thing that I bought at Forever 21. This is gonna be so random but I went to Costco and I bought this one. This is a top. First of all, I love this color and I love the cat. It's casual but I feel like this is when a classic piece that you can wear winter or summertime. Again, if you live with leggings like I do, this is going to be perfect. This one comes with a top underneath because it's kind of like see-through. I wish it wasn't, so I just could wear it as is. But yeah, I am pretty sure I'm gonna be using a lot of this on summertime and winter as well, just to layer this up. Then I bought this a sweater. This one, I love the color, first of all. I think it's super cute and perfect for like autumn and winter. The actual fabric of this one is really comfy and it's really light, it's warm enough. It's long enough that I can use it with leggings because as you can see by now, I am obsessed with leggings. That's pretty much all I use. Has a long top, but on the sides, it goes up a bit with a bit of an angle. I'm not entirely sure if this suits me like 100% because of my body shape. My hips are really huge and this makes them even bigger, but I'm okay with it. And then I went to a recumbent pitch. I got these jeans that are jean leggings and they are short. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep them yet because of my body shape. My legs tend to get skinnier on the bottom part. And this is what they look like from the bottom part. It kind of suits this part of my body, but the middle part, I feel like it's off. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to return this. So we'll see. Then I went to Sephora and I wanted to give a try to this mascara, the Too Faced one with a really funny name. I wanted to try it if to see if it's good. It's really good. It's expensive. I just got this sample size in the sample section at Sephora, which I love. I'm a fan of that section. This is tricky for me because I really like this mascara. Like when I go out, this is what I use, but the normal size is like too expensive for me. So I'm trying to find a drugstore version of this one. If you know, let me know. Then I wanted to give a try to this perfumes. It's like the Tory Burch one, the Chanel number no. five and the Burberry. It's pretty cool what they do in Sephora. You ask for a sample and they give you this kind of like spray bottles. I think it's a cool idea. I didn't know they did that, but it's a cool way to just try out perfumes when you are searching for a perfume that you like. Then I went to Skechers because I was looking for some tennis shoes and this is super random, but I just love them. I had to share. They are black and they have like memory foam and they were super affordable as well and they are super comfy. And then I went to the dollar store and I bought some items that I wanted to share. Completely random this part but this is a battle opener thingy. I just have to try them out and then this one to just clean my car and I have yet to try this one. 
I ordered from Amazon this essential oil diffuser. I don't have it with me, that's why I'm showing you the photo. So once I pick it up, I'm going to probably make a review on this one. Then I went to Anthropology. I gotta say it's the first time that I visit there and oh man, I love it. I think it's pretty cool, the concept of it, especially the home decor part and the where they have like all the bath and perfumey you know, area. But I want to try this perfume, it's the Florence, it's by Toka, 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 not really sure. This is the small size, like the bottle is small, just to try it out. It's not like a spray bottle, which I don't really like, but it smells amazing. I'm just going to keep on purchasing in this because it's really good. And I love the bottle, so once I'm done with the perfume itself, I'm just going to fill it with some water. I'm going to be using it for room decor or home decor. And then I bought this coffee mug, I don't have it with me right now, but I did post this one on Instagram and I love the saying on it, make it happen, pretty inspirational. And finally, I went to Target. I left it till the end because this is where I got most of my stuff from. I wanted to start with this top. This, I got it from like the men's section. I really like doing this, going to like the men's section and buying huge tops to work out. I prefer to just work this way, using super huge uh, long tops, mostly for men, and use them with leggings. I love the color of it and I love, love, love what it says. And I love the image and everything. I'm in love with this top. Then I got some comfy like memory foam flip-flops that I've been using all around the house as you can see they're pretty worn by now because I use them all the time and I really recommend them super affordable and they're cute so I love wearing flats I'm pretty much of a flat person and I saw this once at Target I'm not real sure but I love them they are kind of like a, a snake print um, but they are super comfy the only thing is that the first time that you try them because of how they are built it's kind of like uncomfy but once you like break them in they are super comfy and they look super cute and now for makeup because I'm going to cruelty free slowly but surely I'm trying new cruelty free makeup brands I wanted to give this uh, mascara a try so far so good this is more of a natural look which is fine for daytime, but this is what this pulley looks like. As you can see, it's pretty big. And the formula, I think, is really nice. The only thing is that you have to go like two or three times to just get the full effect. But once you get it, it doesn't smudge or anything like that. Then I wanted to try this one, the Physicians Formula Organic Wear. Uh, because I've seen a lot of reviews and this is what this pulley brush looks like. Honestly, I didn't like it at all because it's smudged like crazy and doesn't hold like the curl or anything like that but yeah I just still wanted to give it a try and then I got this wet and wild I haven't opened this yet use the other ones and once I'm done with those I'm just going to be opening this one then from Lani I got this iTech extreme I like it it's black it's simple easy to wear it doesn't last that long like it doesn't last all night if you're going out at night and stuff like that and this is pretty much what the line that you get looks like and it's okay and nothing really special if you're into real long lasting eyeliners and less stuff just don't use this one because again it's not that pigmented but for me it's fine then I got this NYX micro brow pencil which has two sides one is like this pulley one and then you have like the pencil this is what it looks like I love it, use it all the time, not a beauty guru of any sort, but so yeah, I just like that one a lot. One of the hardest things to find cruelty free is nail polishes, but a wet and wild is cruelty free, so I just bought this black one and I like it. I had to do two coats and it doesn't really dry super fast, but it's okay. It gets like the standard time of drying and this is what the brush looks like. Nothing really crazy about this one other than it's cruelty free and it's the only one I've been using. This is what I'm wearing, as you can see my nails. I like it. Then I got this nail file. I thought I would just include it in here because I really like it. And finally, I got this dry shampoo. I've been using this sometimes. It smells amazing. And sometimes it leaves a white residue, so you have to really work it out and just mix it with your hair. I like it, and it's going to last a long time because it's a lot of product in there. But yeah, those are things that I bought. I have another like craft baked haul coming up, so stay tuned for that. If you like this kind of videos, let me know down below. But I, I love shopping, and even more, I love shopping at affordable places. I do go shopping like two or three times a year. I hope you enjoy this one. It's a different side of me. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. And don't forget to share it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.